youth driving is the focus of a program by the New Zealand Transport Association and it's already been described as a success. It's a great day for this Christchurch teenager attending the celebration ceremony for achieving one of life's many milestones. He started the program in July last year when the course first began in Christchurch and now a year on he's passed. It's good eh, you know, don't get stopped at all, it's good, and then we'll find. CTV has followed his story right from the start, describing himself as an erratic driver wanting to do whatever it takes to achieve the next driving licence step. I've already done my shit, but I failed it, so this would be a good opportunity to do it. And he has, but there's been a few roadblocks along the way. With fines raking up before the 12 week course, he reached maximum demerit points, meaning his licence was disqualified. However, three months later, it gave him the motivation to go back to the program's second round to become a better and safer driver. I've chilled out quite a bit now. Um, I just mainly wanted to do it so I get a, get my job, and which I have got my job, get my work out. It's quite good now. The Canterbury Driver Mentor Program is a joint project between New Zealand Transport Agency and New Zealand Police. The course is designed to help learner drivers be more vigilant and confident on the roads, being mentored by volunteers in the community to improve their driving skills. Overseas, research shows practice is key, but the support is not always there, and the course's mentoring coordinator says the program has received a great response. One has said they would never have gotten to the car had they not come onto our program. Another girl said to me, it's the first time I've started something and completed it, and now that's changed the way I look at how I do things. So when you hear from them that had they not come on the program, they may have never got a licence, which means they made it you know, harder to get a job. Statistics show a real problem with young drivers. Over the last five years in Christchurch, 18 people aged between 15 and 24 have died on our roads, with 300 being injured in vehicle accidents. The government stepped in and changed the licensing system, making it harder to pass your driving licence test, with only 50% getting it the first time round. Bachi says with the program still relatively new, it's heading in the right direction. And we're only scratching the surface. So definitely it needs to be a very long-term large project that we hold throughout the whole country. And as you know, it's been piloted in other areas and they're very, very successful. So the proof's in the pudding over the fact that we need to continue this and it needs to grow and it's a necessity because the restricted test is harder, but for a reason, because we need to have safer drivers on our road. So that's what we're addressing. So if we're addressing that and we're helping people, why not continue it? Cody received his acknowledgement at the ceremony and thanked his mentor and says he would recommend this program to anyone. If people are struggling out there trying to get their restricted, even though they've gotten harder, I'd take it up. It helps out a lot. So there you have it, the feeling of success and independence. Well done, Cody. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.